papaya plant bearing different types of flower. The gender of this fruiting tree are really confusing for new farmer and hobby gardener. Some people think that all types of papaya plant should provide fruit. Some people think only the female flower provide fruits. In reality, what is the truth? Here I will show you a complete explanation with practical plant footage about papaya plant gender and their fruiting habit. How to detect male papaya flower and hide how to identify female papaya flower and also how to detect hermaphrodite papaya plant. So let's know one by one. In general mainly three types of papaya plant are grown. Male papaya plant, female papaya plant and hermaphrodite papaya plant. From these three types of plant only female are hermaphrodite papaya plant growing fruit. Male plant only provide flower and provide pollen. They don't grow any fruit. Let's know it practically. In this picture you can see easily the difference of three types of papaya flower. Male flower have only have some stamen to provide pollen. They don't have any ovaries. For this reason, these types of plant which having male flower should not provide any fruit. On other hand, the female flower have only the ovaries. When a male flower plo uh, pollen are came on there, they should provide fruit. On other hand, hermaphrodite flower have already pollen and also ovaries. For this reason, this plant grow fruit by self-pollination. Now let's see the difference in practical field. Here you can see a plant which is male one. Here you can see a male papaya plant and since male plant flower doesn't have, have ovaries, they can't produce fruit. They have stamens that bear the pollen that pollinate the flower with ovaries. Male flowers look different than other papaya flower because they grown in large number on dropping stalks known as peduncle. So if you have a male papaya plant and you are waiting for fruiting then it's just a waste of time. Now let's know about a female papaya plant. This plant is a female one. The female flower have the ovaries that the males pollinate to produce papaya fruit. The flower grow on plant stems where the leaves attached. The flower are pointed in the tips of bulb shape at the base before they open. Before the female flower can produce mature rib fruit, a male or hermaphrodite flower need to pollinate it. If the flower is not pollinated, the developing fruit fall off while it still is small. The most common pollination of papaya are done by wind, honeybee, trips, butterfly or any other insect. Hermaphrodite papaya plant. This plant is a combined of male and female flower. The flower of a hermaphrodite plant have both stamen that carry pollen and ovaries. So they are self-pollinating plant. The flower forms on the leaf axis. Most papaya growers prefer hermaphrodite plant because they don't need male or female plant to grow fruit. For this reason, hybrid varieties of all papaya are especially female or hermaphrodite plant. I think you may get a complete idea about difference of papaya plant gender and their fruiting habit. So thanks for watching the full video. If you are interested about these types of video then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get new video notification quickly. Thanks for watching the full video.